I need to reread that Spider one. But like, like Spider going into the series, which is cool, there is enough. But like, Spider, she totally got a chance to go on because she's in like, what's it called, right? The Spider first thing. Yeah. And then like we just don't see from her again. Like, come on, guys, I want more of that. That'd be nice. Maybe uh, she might be in Web Warriors. I think she shows up in that. Hmm. Anyways. Yes. Hey. Hey. We're just talking about alternate versions of Spider-Man. Of course. I'm Danny. I'm Rob. And this is... The Sundown Rundown. That's right. I haven't got to say it a while. Ooh, yeah. I felt nice. Yeah. Since you're the one who uh, started it, well, I said it first. You did say it first. But that was off camera. It was a joke. Such folly. And then the folly did. of youth. Yep. <laughs> anyway, we're here at Southern California Comics, and this mm -hmm. is where any week, because we're the store's official video, except no substitutes. That's right. So we're going to tell you about the latest comics of the week, and nothing else because I have to go to a movie. Yeah, so let's, let's get it done. All right. You want to go first since you have I would love Cinco. to start off. Uh, and what I have here in my hands is going to blow your socks off. And probably. I've got Pencilhead, the new Ted McKeever joint. Look at that. You want to know what it's about? It's about these things on the cover. <laughs> Oddball artists, choice of writers, dimension editors, office politics, hamburgers, and a dead stripper. Nope. Can't show that page. As advertised. As advertised. Uh, yeah, I can show this page. It's crazy. It's bonkers. It's all over the place. Look at that. I don't know what's going to happen in it, but it'll definitely be a wild ride. Yes. It's great. Ted McKeever's been putting out weirdo comics for like the past 30 years. <laughs> like Quite a few from Image in the past past few. Hmm. Yeah, super Annuated Man. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, what was the one with the chickens and stuff? That one was weird. Hmm. It's about chickens. Sounds weird. Yeah. It's called like Chicken Head or something. I don't remember, <laughs> but um, new Adventure Time miniseries is out. Ice King, one of six. It is written by Emily Partridge, who does some really awesome comics. I don't know. I think she just wrote this from her office, but good guess. And the art is by Pranus Now Jokaitis. Ooh. Ooh. Kind of a Kind of a chewy last name, but really nice sort of indie comic style, as you might hope for from an Adventure Time mm -hmm. side series. Really nice stuff. I think it's worth going to be worth checking out. We'll get it. It's nice. I like a couple it. of pages that I rummaged through really quickly before we started filming were very funny. A la the general style of Adventure Time. So yes, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. Yeah. So another number one this time from Marvel, Captain Marvel number one. New creative team, Kelly C. DeConnick, and the artist that was on the old one, whose name I'm forgetting. There's like 50 artists on the old one. I know, that's the, that's the one that I can't... Who was the most... Who was the one on it right when it... I don't remember. Went, team's off of it. We got a new team on it. And that is these names. I forget. These were writers for two, something. Two writers for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And that's maybe it. Agent Carter. I think... Excuse me. Agents of Carter. Agents of Carter. There we go. Uh, Michelle Fazekas and... Tara Butters, and then Chris Anka is on the art. Art's really nice? It is really nice. I love Chris Anka, so I'm really glad to see him doing a series interiors as opposed to just doing the covers. Like, really any page will do for how nice, like, oh, it's yeah. just he draws a very sharp, crisp sort of way. And this features Captain Marvel leading Alpha, Alpha Flight. Flight, which is, Puck is there. so exciting. I love Alpha Flight. I love Alpha Flight. All right, new from Dynamite. Not a lot of hype for this. Surprisingly, yeah. Especially because it's a Rick Remender. The, the new Rick Remender comic, Devolution, which I believe is maybe the worst title coming out in comics today. Yeah, it's not great. It is an awful title. Not but great. the book itself looks pretty good. Yeah. Kind of a really nice, almost gross style. Kind of shades of Richard Corbin, maybe. Some nice cityscapes. A bit post-apocalyptic, I'd say. It's got nudity, which people love. It's got violence. People it's do love that. A modern comic book for our times. I don't know what it's about. There are a lot of boobs in these comics lately. Yeah, I know, right? It's disgusting. But, yes, the evolution. Um, post apocalyptic, she's got a sword. Catch it. Hmm. Alright. Another new one from... I don't know if I can really call them up and coming, but... Rising new indie publisher, Aftershock. Yes. That's American Monster from Brian Azzarello. Is it Monster or Mobster? Monster. Okay. It is actually Monster. I thought it was Mobster. 
It would be great a, if it was American Mobster. Since it's a Brian Azzarello joint, I assumed it was a crime comic. It kind of is, right? I believe so. This guy's got a red face. People get shot. It's as, a crime comic. As Daniel mentioned, it was a boo or two. Uh, if you like Brian Azzarello, he's a good writer. Crime stuff. Check it out. Hell yes. Very excited for this. I mean, from IDW, Amazing Forest, number one. I love that name. Oh, yeah. I love that name. This is the previously digital only anthology by Ulysses Freenas and Eric Freitas, who are the writers, and a slew of talent. That is fun to say. Yep. Freenas drew this cover, obviously, because it's dope and super detailed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, lots of short stories, mostly written by them, I believe. Yes. Most importantly in this series, there is a final story by Yumi Sakugawa, and it's awesome, because Sakugawa is great. So you should definitely pick this up, check out some, some up-and-comers, some new, some new artists. I love short story compilations. Yes. I think it's an ongoing series. It's so. my life, too. It's, it's so great. Check it out. Back to the big guys. Yep. Big publishing house, Marvel. We have a continuation. <laughs> of A-Force, which started off as a Secret Wars series. Now it's just it's hardcore Marvel. This, now it's just an ongoing. This came out a couple weeks ago, or a week ago. Oh, that's right. But we, we just got get it. it because <laughs> our distributor doesn't appreciate us. Here's your weekly reminder that Diamond sucks. For, for all of our worth. Uh, either way, G. Willow Wilson, who was the writer on Miss Marvel, mm -hmm. and uh, artist Jorge Molina, whose stuff I really, really enjoy. Okay, where that? We're seeing the same players from Air Force, and it's the Ladies Avengers team. Yep, basically Singularity, the sort of Cosmo uh, Captain Universe looking lady, remembers Battle World. Hey, look at that. I literally just read that. Yep, so yeah, she's the only one who remembers what happened in the previous Air Force series, so she gathers back all of her friends to go on superhero adventures. Very cool. Pretty fun premise. And they're all like, what? What are you doing? We're not a team. What is this? I really enjoy <laughs> the like callbacks to events that people don't remember. Like that 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 like plot point where like one person does and other people don't. Like for some odd reason that always tickles my fancy. So you love the psycho pirate? Yes, I actually do <laughs> really like psycho pirate. Good um, stuff. Like it's just it's I don't know. Fun emotional stuff, you know. Who am I? Not really. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Another comic from my dude, Ulysses Freitas and Eric Freitas. Um, this is Judge Dredd number two. The latest IDW series. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Drawn by Dan McDade, who is great. Kind of a kind of a Kirby thing. A little Kirby by way of the Keith Gipfin ripoff of Kirby. <laughs> um, Judge Dredd wakes up in a land that he doesn't recognize. And it's not Mega City, because there's grass everywhere. Nor is it the wasteland, because there's grass everywhere. So, sort of a, a twist on Judge Dredd. He is Judge Dredd. He is just in an odd landscape. And he has to fight a bunch of stuff because he's Judge Dredd. I love it. I it's like so it. good. I like that premise. And this cover is great. I got one last one for you. Yes. Stoked. Stoked. Boom. Patsy Walker, a.k.a. Hellcat. Numero dos. Kid left. Brittany L. Williams. It's just so perfect looking. The art is so good. It's so good. Show them the it's cover again. It's so good. It's like, I love great. this cover. Oh my it's gosh. So oh my gosh. Look at this. We're going to get the whole thing in there sideways. Turn your computer sideways. <laughs> great. Hellcat in our own series. Awesome. Read it. Oh, is that Valkyrie? Is supposed to be Valkyrie? Uh, it's Thor. The Thor's costume doesn't look like that. I think it does. Or maybe it is. Maybe it is Valkyrie. No, you're right. It is Thor. But the... This is irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation has nothing to do with anything. Fair the enough. art is very nice. Kate Left does fun writing. I'm glad Hellcat has her own series. I enjoyed her featuring in the She-Hulk series by Charles Soule. Charles Soule, yeah. yeah. And Javier Rodriguez. And Javier Rodriguez, right. It's good stuff. Cool. Cool. We're done for the week. I love it. I need to go to a movie now. Enjoy. I'm seeing Creed, I think. <gasps> Are you really? He's going to punch them so hard. Oh, I'm so jelly. I want to see that movie so badly. I'll let you know how it is. Lee Jordan is pretty jelly. He's great. He's great. Anyways.
That's our show. See you next week. <laughs>